Hey, what's up data geeks, Ben Sullins here. Today I wanna to show you how to integrate D3 and Tableau. Um, I've done this and I think the reason to do it is kind of obvious. Sometimes Tableau has some limitations that you can't really work around. Uh, I know there's some wizards out there that can practically make it do anything, but sometimes you just have to break open your code editor and punch out some D3 to get the viz you want. So here I'm gonna show you how to kind of marry those two to where you can use Tableau and D3 together in sort of a seamless way to provide really unique kind of engaging experiences for your users. Okay, so step one, I've connected to a data source here, which is my Game of Thrones battles. So this is actually the data source I used for a D3 viz that I created. And in here, all I wanna do is create some simple vizs and then I'm gonna add those to a dashboard and then pull in my D3 stuff. So I'll just double click on not attacking commander, but attacking king, and let's say defending king, and then we'll throw in number of records, changes to a highlight table, and we'll get rid of null, just cause it doesn't mean anything for us right now. So you can see here who's attacking. And what you have here is basically just a little heat map of the attacker king and the defender king, who's attacking whom, all that kind of stuff. We'll call this a map. Then I'll create a new one and I wanna know where the battles are taking place. So let's drag region over and you can see all the different regions in our data set. And I can create like a little bar chart, something simple. And you can say, where are the battles? Cool, so I've got two simple little visas. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, and now I'll create a dashboard. Actually, let me rename that. So this will be regions. Go to my dashboard, throw my map on, throw my regions on, good to go. So I have the basics of my actual map or my actual dashboard. So I'm gonna set to automatic sizing just for now since I'm on a smaller resolution here. So I've got these two pieces. Now what I wanna do is add in my D3 viz. Now I've already created one and it's similar to all these. And what I'm gonna do is drag a web page object above these two guys. And I'm gonna paste in the URL right here, which is hosted on GitHub pages. You also could host your D3 viz on blocks. There's lots of different places to host it, but essentially your D3 viz needs to already be live and somewhere that's accessible. And in fact, I'm gonna change this to HTTPS so I can avoid any cross domain origin battles. So there you go. So now my D3 viz loaded, it's kind of compact here. Again, I said I have a small resolution, so apologize for that. But what I can do now is save this guy to Tableau Public and then go check it out on there. Let me switch over, let me reload this. You can kind of get a better viz there. You can kind of see how it goes. So the D3 in this all feels very natural, right? The fonts match and everything else. So let me go over to the published version of this on Tableau Public, you can kind of see how that looks. So here you are on Tableau Public. I have my Game of Thrones battles and you see it's nice. I can do stuff like this, which you can't really do in Tableau. And also when you hover over this, you get a nice tool tip. If I can, it'll, it'll stop moving. There you go. And then down below, you can see my Tableau viz. So you could design your D3 viz to handle things like an incoming parameter and use actions in your dashboard, actually pass things in and all that. So you could make this feel very much like a natural Tableau thing. So. Simple as that, use a web page object, embed your D3 viz, and enjoy integrating these two amazing platforms. See you back here soon.